Welcome to this morning's devotion. And the theme for the devotion this morning is sin, a hindrance to prayer. Sin, a hindrance to prayer. And the text is taken from John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 19 to 22. 1 John chapter 3, verse 19 to 22. Many have questioned why our prayers are not answered if God is a prayer answering God. This is because we live in sin. Indeed, when we sin, we separate ourselves from God. In every sin, sin is affect Banu. It destroys, it smells, it separates. And there's a common chorus which we sing in churches. My name is Eradi, Owebe Kwanbi, Amami. My name is Eradi, Owebe Kwanbi, Amami. Some you bought your pawn and what you are. Nazami Jai Bonnie, Nami Papa. My name said Raddy. Over where can be? Ah, mommy. Isaiah 59, verse 1 says, Surely the Lord's harm is not short. The Lord's ear is not deaf that he cannot hear us. But it's our sin and our iniquity that has created a barrier for him to hear us. And therefore, 1 John chapter 3, verse 21 reads, Beloved, if our hearts does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. And whatever we ask, Oh, he will hear from him because we keep his commandment. Because we keep his commandment. Indeed, if you sin, we are separated from God. If you sin, we are separated from God. And indeed, there is something serious that separates us from God. And that is unforgiving spirit. And most Christians bear grudges. So are holding on to people who have hurt them so much that they cannot forgive. In fact, there is a clear road map for forgiving our friends so that our prayers will be answered. And that is cataloged in Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 to 20. The first step that if someone want, has sinned against you, go to that individual. And if that individual refuses, get one or two witnesses and go to that individual again. If he refuses, Tell it to the church. If he refuses, forget about the individual as if he is not alive. What scripture is telling us that if you're able to forgive the individual, three things happen. One, scripture says that anything, anything that we ask, anything that we ask, will be done for us. Two, whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever we lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Which means that every good decision that we take, which is consistent with the will of God, will come to pass. May you forgive so that you have this privilege. Three, people have forgiven others and don't carry burdens of hurt burdens of ill feelings against friends. When they come together, 
whatever they do, the Lord will answer. Whatever they ask, the Lord will answer. Because he tells us that where three of these people have met, he is in their midst. May it be so in your life. Three. If you pray and you act selfishly, there will be no results. It's a hindrance. And James 4, 3, James 4, 3 tells us that it's because of our motives of selfishness when we pray. In fact, a lot of Christians who want to pray the Lord to give them money so that they will be able to tease their friends. That means so my ye ye. So when we pray with ill motives, it's a hindrance to answered prayer. Proverbs 28, 9 says, The one who does not obey the word of God, God will never answer his prayers. So obeying the word of God will cause your prayers to be answered. If you don't obey the word of God, your prayers will not be answered. It becomes a hindrance. I pray that today, as you go about your duty, one, you will confess your sins and eschew sin. Two, you will try to forgive others so that the Lord will forgive you and your prayers will be answered. Three, you obey the word of God so that the word of God will leave you with you. There is this song with Sami Wasemi. Sami Kaya. Name Pentem de Manka Samo Buamo. Oyamina Semu. Otsimi Munti. Sami Kaya. Name Jai. May this lead you as you pray. In the name of our Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.